Yeah. For the Renault and Lazio, you know, many people, I think give us the run around of what do you think? Yeah, we're, we're disappointed. We, there are a couple of areas that we let ourselves down. I, I think our discipline in the first 20 overs with the ball was uncharacteristically poor. Um, our extras, I think, were about 30, 35. Uh, so that's an indication we were just off a little bit. Um, we've worked hard on little things, but to have a number of extras and no balls um, suggested a couple of things, maybe just the pressure of the occasion for some. Um, but the fact was we were just off and after winning, I think a good toss. Sorry, uh, Ms. A good start, we were just a, li we were a little bit messy and that's something we haven't been, it's something be we've been working towards uh, in training and our discussions in a short period of time and made some good gains, but we, um, yeah, we just lacked accuracy today at key times. The last four overs is a really good indication, but you go back to extras, um, and we're put under pressure by an excellent innings as well. It's not all about us. Um, Aidan Markman played a, a really good innings under pressure in the first six overs, and, um, and there to capitalise. So, yep, we were a little bit um, underwhelmed by our performance, but also I appreciate there was a fine hundred as well. Most after we've seen before, most teams will win the toss first. They kind of go in up the game, but today that wasn't effective. Unfortunately not. Coach, I just want to know the thinking behind um, Reen Jettle being at the top. Yeah, we got caught a little bit with um, with Reza's hamstring. He was um, we ran out of time, so he wasn't allowed to open the batting. And rather than just take a conservative approach and put a batter up, we thought we might be able to uh, just create a bit of havoc in the first two or three overs by sending Gerald in there, who can hit the ball well. Uh, it was a bit of a risk, but to be honest, after going for 213 and, uh, and having to regroup, taking a positive approach was something that I, I wanted to do. Losing Faf the first ball was not the plan. Um, but yeah, just, just try and break it up. We were three, three minutes out, but it was enough to, again, create a bit of disruption in our order. And we just wanted to try and be positive. The first five or six overs with the new ball are testing. Um, and we thought if we could get a bit of a march on there and create something different, that it might be a bit of an edge, knowing that the last 10 overs you can catch up. So the other thing was, was rain, which was always hovering. So it was, a, it was a horrible game actually to be involved in, just to try and strategically get it right. So it was a bit of guesswork, and that one we just decided to be positive. Uh, gentlemen, um, this is obviously the end of the competition now for me, but what did you make of the SA 20? Oh, I think it's been fantastic. Yeah, I, I've really enjoyed it. Our players have enjoyed it. I think the South African cricket fans have enjoyed it, which is the most important thing. Uh, and I think it's great that, again, crowds have come back. I was disappointed to hear that crowds hadn't been there, but to see them back and have a full house at uh, in PE, which was St George's, which was a great occasion, and then at the Wanderers, um, these guys haven't experienced that. To see them thrive and, and respond to that is, is only good for South African cricket. There's a real purpose to this tournament. And I think the players have really stood up to that as well. And the spectators have got behind it. I hope it's a good final because it deserves it. It's been a great tournament. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, Steven, I've got one cheating question and one serious uh -oh. one. Okay. How much do you think you would have gone for in an auction? Me? Yeah. I, would have, I would have to pay to get into a team, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Tell me that's a serious one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a serious one. Uh, serious question. In terms of talent um, that you found here in South Africa, coaching, yeah. uh, South African. Oh, oh yeah, there's talent. There's talent. Um, there's probably a little bit of lack of confidence. And when you get it in a bigger stage, you sort of see it come through. So there's a, a personality to it that um, the young players and young talent have to believe that they're, they're good. It just feels a little bit beaten up over the last few years. Um, so it was about for us getting our young players confident and that they can actually play at this level. It's a, it's a level, you'd say, between domestic and international when you've got good international players playing. So it's a really important stepping stone. Uh, and it's also really important to identify new talent coming through. And I think we've seen some of that. Makanya um, was a reserve player for us. He didn't get a great opportunity with the bat, but what a great kid. And uh, he provided a huge amount to this team. And, and for the future, he will be... Uh, an important player. So there's, look, there's talent all the way through, not just the top guys, but there's talent coming through, which is good. Yeah. Stephen, despite um, <coughs> a, a really wretched start for you guys, and as you say, the ball was still nipping around with the new ball, and 
Yeah. yeah. I mean, at one stage, I think 80 was needed or, or 28 balls. I guess I was quite pleased that they still managed to push it, that it was still relatively close. When you went to the final over, still into the south, it just showed you what is possible in the last five. Yeah, you got to remember I've had 15 years of Dhoni, so I'm <laughs> used to some of those heroics. Uh, and look, the power of some of these players today, um, anything is gettable, and that's the mindset. Look, Shepard's in the dressing room almost disgusted with himself for missing out on three sixes. And that's the quality of, of the power of some of the players that are in the game now, the, the talent and the skill to, to execute. Um, and the bowlers, it's, it's hard. Our bowlers today took the gas a little bit and under siege, and we were hoping to get the same, but, but they held strong. But the batting in the last five or six overs can be brutal, especially if the pitch is playing like that. Coach, you look at as a 20 what you've been through so far, the success. How far do you think the gap is to, co to compete with the likes of IPM and other wins? Um, oh, probably about $80 million. <laughs> it's not far, talent-wise. Look, IPL's a beast, isn't it? Um, India, uh, with the TV rights and interests, they've just grabbed the imagination of the, the Indian public and, and cemented itself as a uh, just a world-class global tournament. What we're seeing now is the emergence of a lot of tournaments around the world. One thing I, I will urge is that there's real purpose with tournaments that are put in place. This one has obvious, um, well the importance is obvious because South Africa gave up some one day international points because they see this as a crucial part of moving forward and that's why I'm so pleased for them that it was a success. You can't compare it to IPL. IPL is, is just a beast on its own. But what you can do is get a very successful domestic tournament and then if um, supporters get behind it, sponsors get behind it, then you're in a really good shape. And I think that potentially is the case here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.